So the final part we need to do uh, to enable a KVM session to the new Core i5 or Core i7 based hardware is to set up uh, a VNC and some system variables on the HP client automation server uh, to leverage the KVM capability. So I'm using uh, the VNC from Real VNC. I'm just going to quickly install that. We only need the viewer so we don't need the server at all. Uh, Real VNC also have a, an advanced uh, viewer that you can use for out-of-band management as well. You also need to have Java Virtual Machine running on the, uh, the server. Now the next part is very important. Uh, your Intel KVM session will fail if you do not set this correctly. So here's our VNC viewer. You need to set up a system variable for that, process, that uh, capability. So simply go over to your computer, go to Properties, uh, Advanced System Settings, and we need to set an environmental variable here. So a system variable is VNC underscore path, and the path is... C colon backslash, uh, programs files, real VNC, VNC, slash VNC viewer dot exe which is the path to here uh, we had to have, uh, have that as a, uh, a system variable okay and we simply apply that and okay that and now we can simply log back into the console where all of our configuration is complete we can go straight over and start taking management uh, of the device. So if we go to the operations tab, then the out of band management, device management, and launch an out of band session. In this case, we want to do a KVM redirection. So I need to put in my password here. So that's keyboard video mouse redirection. And for those of you who have experience with technologies from HP, such as ILO, you will see some familiarity built into this technology uh, from Intel. I click submit. If I choose the opt-in option, uh, the user will get a PIN number that they need to read to me over the phone for an added layer of security. Final uh, login. And uh, I now have remote control that uses desk. You can see the, uh, the icon flashing in the top right hand corner of the remote session. And I'm now connected to the management chip. And this user can't find any key. Uh, however, in this case, just as a one quick example, one of the added features of uh, the KVM function is I don't lose control of the device when the OS uh, is not running. So let's quickly just reboot this machine and you'll note that I still have uh, video redirection, keyboard uh, and mouse interaction with this machine during the whole boot process. So I can F8 the machine, F10 the machine, go into the BIOS, change a setting or if I need to redirect the boot process to another IDE device to mount an image uh, or hit F8 to interact with uh, Windows Recovery, uh, then I could do that as well. So very, very simple, uh, but greater uh, management capability for me as an administrator, meaning I'm reducing my at-desk visits uh, to help my users uh, troubleshoot challenges. So I hope you found this uh, session uh, informative and a series of how to configure uh, HP client automation to interact with Intel or vPro management. If you have any further questions, uh, my email address is just ask Simon one word at hp.com and I uh, hope to hear from you looking for, uh, moving forward. Thank you.